Hey guys, let me back up and adjust myself. I might need to adjust my seat or the camera. I think I'm gonna adjust the camera because I don't feel like moving back. <laughs> um, I'm eating some crackers, so I need to make sure it doesn't show up um, anywhere else that I don't want it to show up. <laughs> um, there, this is something really funny. Okay, I promise I'm not gonna keep the you know the topics on this. I might. If you like the topic, then I'll continue to do it. Um, but I won't be able to talk about it as much because some people may not be um, comfortable with the topics that I talk about. But I mean, because we're kind of like pushing the agenda more and more and people are now starting to feel more comfortable to hear other people's side um, of, you know, point of view about their personal life, I guess. It's not anything I should fear. Um, but I want me a soul mate. Really bad. Um, <laughs> it's not important, but actually it is important if you want that and you desire that and, you know, and you don't have it, then it is kind of important. But there are other ways that you can feel that void but until you get that then you probably will try to find other ways to fulfill but if you will never feel fulfilled from within because you have not gotten what you've always wanted and desired so like I, I actually I want a soulmate and they try to say a twin flame and a soulmate are two different things um your twin flame is going to be basically just like you and your soulmate is going to be pretty much understanding a little bit deeper um, it's pretty much like the same thing they go hand in hand um, so your twin flame and your soulmate is pretty much kind of the same thing um, but your soulmate has way more um, in depth with the meaning of um like they know more about how you feel before you say it it's kind of like twin flame in a way um i've had people tell me that twin flames were people who were more um they had like more of the same type of characteristics or were in those in, in a way but not as much but when it comes to your soulmate, it's almost like that person is right there. They have not, like they, they, they don't miss a beat at all. So I mean like you can find your twin flame, but they may not, I don't know. It's like, it's the same thing. Like your twin flame and your soulmate is pretty much like the same thing. Um, but your soul is so much greater. So I mean, a soulmate would be a whole lot greater than a twin flame. You might have some um, similar characteristics. You might like some of the same things, and you might, you know, um, understand each other. But that soul is totally different than what appears to the eye. Um, you have to feel if, if it's right, and you can feel if it's right with a twin flame. But it can be based on more of what the outer layer is instead of for the inside so I mean I was going to name the title you know Twin Flame or um, or Soulmate I'm pretty sure somebody's going to copy it and whatnot, whatever whatever I'm pretty sure they got it already but still if it's new I know you got it from me <laughs> but no seriously um, like I fell in love with this homeless guy and this guy was homeless and he still is and I fell in love with him but I know that I don't need to be like in a committed relationship I need to be committed with myself relationships aren't for everybody so that's the reason why I'm like and then it's like I'll just be wanting something to do at that time so it just be it, it just be like I be wanting sex that's it I don't want nothing I be wanting other stuff too but it may not be in that, in that person and that person may not be the right one for me so why even put all my focus and time in something that I can be given to myself like I don't want to waste time so I just want to do something that's it but 
at the same time, I can't just do something because I had to be like careful about who I interact with and stuff like that. And that's the reason why I feel the way that I feel. It's like it's an urge of waiting to do something. And I want to, but it's like, oh my gosh. And there's so many people that I pass by. Like some people, like, I be shy because I think that they do like me and they're trying to make a pass. But I don't want to take any chances of that person embarrassing me in front of someone because I didn't say it right. But I've been through this more than once. So, I mean, I should feel comfortable now and knowing when somebody likes me. But I cannot put all that trust in a person because that person may not actually it feel that way. But it feels like that, though. So, when somebody likes me, it's like I can tell... But I'd be scared to make a pass and I'd be wanting them to make the pass first because I know I'm going to say something that they're going to like. And they may say something that I'm going to like if I give in and say something, but I never know. So it's almost like a game of chess in a way <laughs> or checkers or whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just like, I don't know what I want to do. Like, I know what I want to do. I know what I want out of a person. It's just that I am, like, so scared and terrified because I'm not sure if a person feels the same way. But I do feel like they feel that way, like, in the back of my head. And then sometimes I'm like, okay, I don't know. <sighs> because one time I was at the bus terminal and this guy okay i was charging my phone and this guy came over to the charging outlet station and um when he walked and approached me i can tell that he was like really really hung like in the size but i only could tell because of the pants like the outer layer of the pants like i can be able to see the print part of it so that was really exciting to me but I still did not want to make a pass or a move because it was some people, and I know how to whisper, that's the thing, I know how to whisper, but it was some people that were literally like sitting down in the chairs and they probably would have been like eavesdropping and hearing the conversation and so I didn't know what to do. Um, I did know, but I kind of didn't know. So it was a little bit weird, um, but it wasn't because I knew what was going on and I knew what I was up against and I knew what I wanted to say. And I'm like, crap, when is this other person going to make a move or say something? But they probably won't because I'm not and I'm scared. So if I'm scared to say something, they might be scared. Um, and it's not that we're scary people. It's just that we don't know how each person will react because we don't know each other. And I'm so used to that. So that's why I say I never do anything. Never, never get a chance to do anything because I always pass it up because of fear or I just feel like well that's just that's just, that's just the bottom line um, so it's more better for someone else to approach me because they have a better chance of getting what they want if they come to me first because I don't want to say this about me but I feel like I have a lesser chance of getting what I want out of a person if I come at them but I never do that's the reason why so it's like they have a better chance of coming at me and me giving them a, a answer that they are going to like <laughs> it sounds hoish don't it but it's not it's the truth I mean some people are like that anyway it don't matter um, but I figured out there'd be a lot of homeless guys that I find attractive and people who are not homeless and, and I feel the same way like I treat them like I would treat another person who's not homeless I won't make the first move even though somebody may may seem more easier to get to than the other one boom um, that's pretty much it and um, oh but long story short so the guy that I was that I had encountered with at the bus terminal when he walked and he approached me, I seen the outer layer of his pants and I tried not to stare, but again, it's very hard for me not to stare when I see something that massive of a size, like it makes me like excited, but I won't say anything. So just imagine how um, erect I get just looking at that and not saying anything and keeping everything inside and not you know, sharing my information and telling people how I feel and this and that and the third. <laughs> and that's what's really funny. So, <sighs> I hope one day I get over that. Like, I am over it. It's just that I'm not to the point to where, like, if I 
if I start saying that more often, then I'm going to be in more trouble. I might be in more trouble because I'm opening up gates of me getting into something that I don't want to get into. So it might be a good thing, and I'm pretty sure it is a good thing that I'm keeping my mouth closed and not saying anything, but it may not be that good. Um, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> so that's how I really feel, y'all. That's how I do. Like, I be into a lot of people, but I just be scared and shy to say stuff because uh, it be like, I don't know how another person might feel or how they might react after I, because I remember growing up when I was in, like, um, high school or middle school. When I was in middle school, I didn't say anything. And when I was in high school, that's when I started to peep a little bit. And then some things I just got, like, because I didn't know what was, um, I didn't know what was, like, how to say it the right way in order to get someone to feel more comfortable um, for what I desired and what I liked out of another person. That's the only thing. So now as I get older, it's like I can kind of read people now and tell and I'm able to feel more comfortable on how I feel how and how I can deliver things. But I don't because the more tour you get, the older you get, you know what to say and what not to say and the time to say it and stuff like that. And then some things are just better off not saying at all. Um, but, um, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm done, I'm done chasing, I'm done, I, I never chase, okay, one, if I chase someone, it would probably be like someone I've seen, like, years ago I would chase people, but not, like, literally, though, like, I would, like, chase them on social media, like, keep in contact with them, or, like, like, keep on liking something that they posted, that's my, that was me chasing, that was it, but I never went to somebody, chased them, and blah, 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 I never did that, no, um, because there's other things in life that are important other than chasing somebody, like, if they're there, they're there, now, you chase them enough in your, in your head, so you don't have to physically chase them, you see what I'm saying, that's the reason why I don't do anything, because it's not, it's not always, like, important, if it ever is important, um, but those are just like lusts and things that I have in mind for another person. And so it's kind of hard to like share that with somebody. But now as we get older and as the, the world gets closer and closer to the future, it's like people are becoming more ac acceptable with the reality of how people, um, sexuality really is. I hate saying that word outside like saying it inside that's why I said when I get my place I'll be able to share a little bit more detail um but yeah I mean I think that's crazy I mean why <laughs> but no but he was really 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 big and I can tell by the print on the outlayer and he had, and this is how I can tell that he actually wanted something because he he just got out of prison first. It was a prison of jail was one of them, but he had an ankle bracelet on, but he was real good looking. And he showed me some, was it porn? It wasn't porn, but he showed me a lady dancing in a sexual way on his phone and did every girl that that he knew that he walked that walked past him or something, he would make a comment, a remark about him. I'm like, oh, this guy is really trying to, and it made me feel excited because I'm like, yes, I can get the hints, like I can catch the hints. But I was such a scary ass because I didn't say anything. Like I went straight into my feedback mode and it said something really, um, really nasty by telling him. By, by coming, but actually, I came up with a golden shower topic <laughs> to try to see if he would actually feedback and know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I can kind of know what he was doing, so I was trying to feedback. And then he laughed at it, but I don't. But then he responded and was like, Yeah, there's some girls out here that will do that. And I'm like, Dang, I want to tell him that I would do it. But I, I, what I really wanted to do was not drink his pee, it, I wanted to suck his dick. I did not want to drink his pee. But if people let me, I would have. <laughs>
<sighs> I hope he see this video too, cause I was shy. I hope he approached me again. He probably won't. I don't know. I hope he do. Um, but yeah, it's a whole lot of stuff that I wanted to talk about, but I don't know, y'all. I be wanting to do a whole bunch of stuff, like. I don't walk past, like, I don't been walking down the street and people will honk, honk the horn and I'll be shy. All I can do is say, hey, you know, and then that's it. Or giving a nods up. <laughs> that's it. Like the what's up. <laughs> that's it. Because I had to keep it moving. And plus, that's what they look like in a car. I don't know what they look like close up or when they step out of the car. You see what I'm saying? That's a whole nother thing. So that's the reason why I keep it moving. And sometimes I don't know how other people, like what their intentions are and what their plans are. That's why I, sometimes I don't feel safe. So I barely even get a chance to make, like I, I get the chance to make the moves. I just choose not to do it. It had to be the right time and the right place for it. You know what I'm saying? And some people knew that I was into like golden showers. And so some people like met me in public places. I didn't even know that they was going to meet me. And I didn't even plan on it. They just ran into me, but they recognized who I was. Or they heard about me. And then they end up just coming out the blue. And like this one person was at the library. And it was at late at night. And I was on a computer. And one guy was like, um, oh, he's really cute. You really cute. This man the third. And then he was like, um, damn, I got a piss. <laughs> he said, damn, I got a piss. I was like, oh. <gasps> Uh, but he was real good looking too and I would have did it but I didn't know his background what he was about I never met him even though I was in the mood to do it it's just that I kind of wasn't because I didn't know if it was a setup I still had my computer right there logged in all my information I wasn't just going to get up and because I did it last time <sighs> nothing happened but still it's like I don't that just came out the blue like I like out the blueness it's just that I didn't know that person, it was dangerous just to be drinking somebody's pee and not knowing who they were all the way. Not even getting a chance to know them, just out the blue. Like, that is hot to think about that, but I I don't know. That's not something that, I mean, I'm not going to say that's not something that I don't want to do. I want to do, but I know what I need to be cautious of and for before I do anything like that. Um, There's a whole bunch of stuff I've been wanting to do. Like, I think after I get after this video, I'm going to encounter somebody. Because I think I'm being chased. And I think people are chasing me. And I think people are stalking me and following me. And they want that one thing. And they could want something else. But I'm homeless. So what can you want? Um, now, when I get my own place, that's when you got something to worry about. <laughs> but then you ain't even coming in there because I'm going to keep my place on lockdown. <laughs> if you want me, you can watch me on your video phone like Beyonce did. <laughs> Juju. <laughs> but seriously, guys, I don't know like what else to say to you guys. I just don't. like. There's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do. I got some Jolly Ranchers in here. Here's a blue one. I'm going to eat that one. I don't know what to do, what to say, but y'all... I'm a man and I get as horny as hell. Oh, yeah. So, this is what happened when I was, um, I told you I'm staying at like a Grace Church shelter. We got cots in there, like bed cots and whatnot. Right. <laughs> I can tell that this guy really liked me. But he's older and he's been locked up before. That got nothing to do with him. But he's older, like I think around my mom's age. And he kept coming to me, coming to me, this not the third, and asking me about stuff and, and keeping track of me. And it was weird because I don't know him and I'm not keeping in track of him. So why are you keeping in track with somebody you don't even know? So eventually I just knew all of a sudden that he liked me and whatnot. Which is it's flattering to me. It is. But it got, what got to me is that, um, what really got to me is that I was laying down in the bed on my cot because we got like little army cots. It's like, it's a 12 man room, but it's like one, two, like four people in there now. And I remind you, it's a church shelter. <laughs> um, and so what it was is that, um, 
I was laying down on my bed and I'm looking at my phone and I, I looked up and I saw this guy literally sitting there jacking off, jacking off, like literally jacking off. And I was like, I didn't say anything, of course. It was entertaining to me because I won't say anything. It's a God thing. Guys do that. I don't care what guys do. Guys can do that around me all day, every day. I don't care. I won't say anything. It's going to make me excited. Um, but I won't do anything until you come to me because I know that I can do without. But you might really need it, and I might be there to help you and aid you. Anyways, uh, okay, so, anyways, um, um, so I just watched him. And then I started to get erect. And so I started playing with myself. But I didn't even realize that there was a camera in there watching. And the guy that was there volunteering, I know they saw it on there. But they didn't say anything the next morning. They just laughed. <laughs> but I did realize what was going on. I was like, dude, there's a camera right there. Why are you doing that in front of the camera? You know these people look at the camera. I say, is it a camera right here? <laughs> nope, it might be. No, it ain't. Um, but yeah. So it's like weird. So now I don't know what, how to film now because I got to go to Bible, Bible study and I got to sit at the table with the guy who was messaging and, and they're going to look at us weird and did more different now. But I'm still a good person at heart. See, I don't cause no problems. So I don't see why anybody and I and see and I knew that if he had a problem he would probably would have just said something but I don't think he's gonna say anything because he know I'm, I'm not a bad person and I'm not out there to try to hurt nobody so yeah and um that's about it um I mean that I haven't had that many that many that many problems um but I be wanting something so bad, like right now, like I'm getting really horny and really erect, and I want some right now. Like I just want to give somebody a blowjob right now. Like I do. I want to give somebody a really good blowjob, and I want to come while they come in, and everything. But like I'm gonna feel so much better once I come, and then make them come. That's gonna make me feel so good. But um. Like I and I want I want to be like I like the bottom too the bottom like it make me feel good because I know what stance to be in when I'm doing it oh and I love to be like um I want to be like um, giving a boom job while somebody is doing me from the back and but see that's kind of painful yo <sighs> I'm gonna have I'm just I just need somebody to understand where I'm coming from like I do want a soulmate but I know that I don't want to waste no time on no guy so and I, I haven't even prayed to God for one so that's how you know it ain't really that important I just like what it is in the meantime what I have in the, in the meantime and then that's it right I don't you know and the guy that was sitting up there masturbating I'm he is not attractive I'm not attracted to him at all I just something that he was doing that made me feel, you know, some type of way. But I was already feeling some type of way. I just happened to look up and see him doing that. So maybe it was just that chemistry of him doing what he was doing. That kind of that energy kind of swoop went over and did that. But the guy that was watching me on the camera, the, the guy that volunteered there, he's already attractive enough either. Now I would drink his tea and I would suck his dick and I would eat his whole and I'll let him do that to me. So I'm more into him. Oh, and another guy in the name, Dominique. I'm into him too. And anybody else, I'm just not into. There's a white guy in there that I like. Also, he's a volunteer. And see, that's pretty much it. But there's a lot of people, but I don't really talk about it that much. So yeah. So, alright, guys, I think that's it. I'm just.
that's all I want was a soulmate. So if you heard me, if you didn't hear me, turn it up. I whispered, but I'm pretty sure you can hear me good enough. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.